I'm uh, Roberto Osuna. I'm from uh, Juan Jose Rios, Mexico. Yeah, it is a small town. You see the same people every day, you know everybody. Since it's a small town, we don't get to see cars like this. You know, I know my body's gonna be pretty happy, as I was when I seen it, so. Uh, I'm gonna share this to them and, you know, motivate them uh, to get that car one day. As soon as I got into the car, uh, you know, you start feeling it, like it, there's a lot of power. When we speed it up, like you, you, you could feel it. And uh, it has a, it's really loud. You feel the adrenaline, like it's almost the same thing I feel when I'm, when I'm pitching the nine with bases loaded and nobody out, you know, like you feel it. Like it's just unbelievable. Like, like I'm telling you, I got really impressed by that car. It has everything you need. And, and it's funny because like you're driving and everybody's looking at you, you know? So make you feel like you're the man. I grew up in a family that plays baseball, right? Like my uncle played in the big leagues for 10 years. My dad did it for 22 years in Mexico. So I grew up watching baseball. I grew up with, my, with the baseball in my hand. All my cousins played baseball. So that was the only thing we did when we were younger. Like I remember playing on the middle of the street and you know, <laughs> there were like a lot of cars driving uh, by and we just stopped the game for one second. They, they pass over and and, and keep playing so like we didn't have money to buy anything we didn't have any stuff to make it better so we were playing baseball on the street but we didn't have gloves so we were just catching the baseball like this right and, and, it, and it hurts like whenever it's a line drive or something you would stop it and then you go like oh my god like it will hurt but uh i think that teaches you a lot of things so right now uh i really worry about this because this is the only thing I know to do, right? So I, I want to be the best and I'm, I try to do the best. And that's what I feel being in this car, you know, like I wasn't the best car. I was feeling so comfortable and that's the way I like to feel. So I'm always looking uh, for the best and that's what I find out in this car. Jaguar, the sound of performance. I got two brothers, they're twins. This is Alex and Pedro. I got my sister, we call her Moni. Her name is Angie, so. There's my mom in the middle, the strongest part of our family, right? And there's my dad in here. They don't come to the game every day, but they always watch the games every day. Uh, whenever I'm struggling or I just don't feel the way I want to, believe me, my dad is the first person I call to. I learn everything from him. And there's obviously a lot of people that helped me on the way here, but he did everything. He was always there for me. And I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to play baseball. And as a pitcher, like I wanted to learn how to throw a curveball, a slider, a changeup. But then in Mexico, we think it's really risky to start throwing those pitches at 14, 15, or 16, right? And then I talked to him and I go, hey, I would like to learn this pitch. He was like, i let you know when. And one day, we went to the stadium and he goes like, no, this is the time. He was always taking care of me. Because one thing is to teach you and tell you what to do, but when somebody really cares about you and take care of you, there's something different, you, you feel it. I remember when I was 12 years old, I told my mom, I feel like I wanna play baseball. I wanna try to play baseball and I promise you I'm gonna do my best in baseball. And she believed in me. She told me, okay, if that's what you want, okay, we're gonna support you, but we're gonna make sure you do the right things, right? I, I was more close to my mom because I was a little scared of my dad. And uh, she never doubted about myself. She was always like, if that's what you want, it's on you. And when I came up to the big leagues, when was this? In New York, in opening game, a uh, few days uh, before opening day, my mom told me, like, we feel so proud of you. We can't believe you making your dream come true. And those words really got into me, and I went to have this tattoo. I don't get tattoos just because I want them to look good or I want to look good. No, I have a reason for this one. So every time I look at my arm, you know, there's a lot of things coming into my mind. Playing on the big leagues was the biggest dream for me. So when I was facing April, I was just playing baseball. I was just focused on what I needed to do. As soon as I step on the field, that's it. I got 10 minutes of work and I want to do it right. So, you know, by the time I'm in the mound, 
I can't hear anything, I can't see anything but Russell Martin. I wasn't nervous at that time. Being honest to you, I got nervous when I got back to my room. I was like, wow, like, I just faced the Yankees. I just struck out Ava. It was like a, like a normal day at the office, right? <laughs> Same thing when you buy a car like this, right? It's because you work hard. It's because you did the right, the right things. Same thing in baseball. If you get better every year, I mean, you're doing the right thing. Like for me, I know what I do to uh, get in the position that I am right now or use what I do before the game to be in the 90 right? Same thing with the Jaguar. You know, you know what car you got, so you don't have to show anybody. I think uh, everybody knows the car you're driving, so you know, the car speaks for, for itself. Jaguar, the act of performance.